you're going to wear a groove in the floor if you don't stop. But why are you so riled? Because Anna wants a few minutes with her nephew. He's going to convince her that she's right. Well, is she? No. No, Anna thinks that all we have to do is put a pacemaker inside of Lior and everything's going to be fine. She's under the mistaken impression that the procedure itself is going to guarantee her health. Wait, are you speaking as a cardio surgeon or a father? Why is everyone questioning my judgment? Look, I am not, but you're so close to this, it must be hard to be objective. Now, you're a doctor. You know yourself that implanting a pacemaker inside of a baby, let alone a preemie, is risky. It's a delicate procedure. I mean, the chances of complications are all over the place. Hell, the, the risk of infection alone is huge. It is, but isn't the risk even greater if you do nothing? David saved Leora's life with that impossible operation. I mean, the odds were staggering. And yet here she is, alive because of him. And now he is refusing to consider a procedure that could continue to improve her life? I don't understand. Well, but maybe David's just afraid of coming up, coming up against those odds again. But Leora has fought so hard. Don't we owe her the best possible chance? David wants her too, I am sure. Why is he being so bloody obstinate? Hmm. Well, you're asking the wrong person. But David, David is... One of the most amazing surgeons. And he loves you and Leora very, very much. More than his own life. And I can't imagine David doing anything that, that wasn't in the baby's best interest. If there were no choice, I would perform the procedure myself right now. But there is a choice. I, I study Leora's EKGs and echoes all day long. She does not need a pacemaker. Not yet. David, she will. No, she might. And if she does, she will get it. And hopefully by then she'll be strong enough. So you rely on meds and... Time. Faith. Our love. So Anna and I will get her strong. You know, we'll... We'll watch her grow and... And we'll love her with everything we have. David. You know what? I have to deal with this. Listen. Whatever your decision you make... I know that you will make the right choice. Thanks for listening. But this decision, make it with your wife, not for her. not, Anna. She's stable. Her heart rate is, is, is steady. No. Not all the time. Most of the time. And that's good. But it dips, you know. I mean, it goes slower and it could change at any minute. Medication can regulate her heart rate. And we will we'll monitor her constantly. What if we miss something? Anna, try to understand this. Surgery right now is too great a risk. It could prove fatal to our daughter, okay? I mean, it says in there that the first two years of a child's life are the most critical, and that's when she needs the pacemaker. If she was full term, I would ag I'd agree with you, okay? But she's not. She's a preemie, Anna. Please, let's get her weight up. Let's get her strength up. The stronger she is, the better chance she has of being able to accept the pacemaker in her body when she's ready. Oh, when you're ready. All right, look, I know you believe in all of these things that you've gathered, but I believe in my gut, in my heart, that surgery is too great a risk. I don't know what to think. Aiden? Uh, this is um, strictly a parental decision. Why don't you guys give me a call when uh, Leora needs a babysitter? Don't you trust 
me enough to know that all I ever want for our daughter is what's best for her. Don't you realize that when I look at my daughter, don't you know that I would use everything within my power, that I would use every gift that God has given me to protect her? Yes, I know that. Of course I do. Then you trust me? Yes. I trusted you with my life and Leora's, of course. Anna, I swear to you, I would stop at nothing to keep our family safe. You've already proven that. I love you, David. And I love you. What happens next? I think we should take Leora home. See how she likes her new crib. I'm gonna go home. As soon as I can arrange it. <laughs>